ChatGPT has stormed the market with its surprising abilities. It's insane, right? Although the internet's favorite ChatGPT has grown in popularity since its inception, there are still some disadvantages to using it. Where are the issues? In ChatGPT content or somewhere else? Are you curious to find out? Well, in this video, we will discuss the flaws and disadvantages of ChatGPT. Let's not keep you waiting and hop right into it. ChatGPT is a type of artificial intelligence that can answer both simple and long-form questions in a conversational way. It generates human-like responses. This AI technology is regarded as a remarkable invention since it has been trained to understand the meaning of questions posed by people. ChatGPT is definitely going to be the next big thing, don't you think? ChatGPT generates content that is both comprehensive and authentic. Then, what's contrary to it? In a few instances, ChatGPT could not answer questions accurately, which limited its ability to be used. It cannot read and adjust to unique requests, resulting in incorrect and irrelevant text. Using or relying on this AI model can be risky at times because it cannot always be relied on to produce accurate results. Many people dislike the fact that ChatGPT is very formal. ChatGPT's output has a bias that prevents it from relaxing and responding naturally. Its reactions, on the other hand, are typically formal. On the other hand, humans react to inquiries in a less formal, more casual manner, utilizing everyday language and slang. We often use humor, analogy, satire or sarcasm in our text. Does ChatGPT fulfill these requirements? Also, there isn't any sarcasm, analogies or humor in the answers which can make ChatGPT content too formal for some users. Another issue with it lies in phrase usage which makes content detectable as non-human. Researchers are looking into the methods for detecting machine-generated content and have uncovered patterns that make it sound unnatural. One of these exceptions is AI's difficulty with idioms. You understand the significance of idioms in content creation, right? An idiom is a phrase with a metaphorical meaning like every cloud has a silver lining. A piece of content that doesn't use idioms can be a sign that it was made by a computer. This is one way to find machine-generated content. Complex phrasal features are based on how often certain words and phrases show up in human writing in a text that was studied. Idiom characteristics have the best predictive value in detecting the current generative models of these complicated phrasal features. Because of this inability to use idioms, ChatGPT outputs sounds and reads strangely. Really, have you experienced it? Similarly, another disadvantage is that ChatGPT does not produce insights. Experts stated that the academic articles written by ChatGPT lack insight into the issue. ChatGPT describes the issue but does not provide a new perspective on it. Humans develop not only their information but also through personal experience and subjective impressions. Professor Christopher Bartel of Appalachian State University says that while a ChatGPT article may have great grammar and advanced concepts, it lacks insight. He further said that they are really fluffy, there's no context, there's no depth or insight. A well-written essay has insight. What do you think? ChatGPT isn't very good at it. This lack of insight should be considered while evaluating machine-generated content. Content with clear logic and facts is always praised, don't you think? One problem with ChatGPT is that its content is well organized and logical. ChatGPT's writing style is wordy and tends to stick to a pattern, which gives the content a style that doesn't seem to fit. The contrast in how people and machines respond to questions demonstrate this inhuman nature. In the movie Blade Runner, there is a scene where a person is asked a series of questions to find out if they are human or an android. These questions were part of the Voigtkampf test, which was a made-up test. Do you know what the inquiries were? Guess. One of the inquiries is, you're sitting in front of a television. Suddenly, you notice a wasp crawling on your arm. What exactly do you do? A reasonable human reaction would be to scream, walk outside and whack it or do something similar, isn't it? When asked this question, ChatGPT gave a well-organized answer that described the problem and suggested many possible solutions, but it didn't answer the real question. 
Indeed, some bad results came from ChatGPT failing to meet expectations. Let's see the next disadvantage. Some people consider it a major disadvantage that ChatGPT is overly detailed and comprehensive. But why is that? Any idea? ChatGPT was trained so that the computer was rewarded when people were satisfied with the answer. Human raters tended to prefer more detailed answers. But in some situations, like a medical setting, a simple answer is better than a long one. That is, when those attributes are crucial, the machine must be taught to be less thorough and more direct. Isn't that an issue? Like you want a get-to-the-point answer and you get a comprehensive one as a result. OpenAI says that these worries come from biases in the training data and well-known problems with over-optimization. Let's see another one. ChatGPT is biased towards being formal. Can you relate to this disadvantage? ChatGPT's output is biased, which makes it hard for it to loosen up and use natural language. Instead, its responses are typically formal. On the other hand, humans answer questions using everyday language and slang, which is the exact opposite of formal. ChatGPT does not employ abbreviations such as GOAT or TL, DR, O. Oh, that's bad now. The answers also don't have sarcasm, analogies, or humor, which could make ChatGPT content seem too serious for some topics. According to the researchers, ChatGPT frequently uses conjunctions and adverbs to show a logical flow of thought such as in general or on the other hand, first, second, finally, and so on. Hopping on to the next one. People face ethical issues and concerns while using ChatGPT. The fact that ChatGPT has been looked at is just one more reason why you shouldn't use it. Its use is prohibited in several educational institutions. Because its results are based on words made up of people and researchers, many people who work in these creative fields are worried about copyright violations. If your institute prohibits it, that is not a wise approach to take. Don't you think it's ethically needed? It also makes you wonder if it's moral to use it instead of people for services that need human connections. These connections may be such the form of customer service representation or even therapeutic therapy. This is because these types of services require people to communicate with one another. Let's not wait to see the next disadvantage. A major one, ChatGPT could be monetized. Since ChatGPT is a free product, there is currently no attempt being made to monetize it. Even in the far future, there will be a big problem that will make it hard to make money. Because fewer people would use the technology if they had to pay to use ChatGPT, which would slow down the market's growth. While using ChatGPT, do you feel it has limited knowledge of recent events? Pretty easy. The version that came out in November 2022 can only tell you about things that happened between 2021 and before. As it keeps getting information from text written by people, it will soon be able to tell you about things that happened more recently. However, users should be aware that it has limited knowledge of facts because the datasets it uses are not kept up to date, which is a disadvantage that should be considered. Last but not least, while using ChatGPT, there can be some possible legal implications. ChatGPT was made with information from the Common Crawl dataset, which includes content from publishing companies, authors, and researchers that is protected by intellectual property rights. Ooh, that may throw you in the pit of a copyright claim. Experts have also raised concerns about the possibility that AI-based apps could be used to do illegal things online. The legal situation around ChatGPT and other derivatives is unclear, and there may be costs to comply. It is better to use ChatGPT wisely.